What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I have some more hockey cards to share with you. These are, for the most part, this lot here is ones that I purchased from a Facebook group that I'm in for hockey cards. First time I purchased off of anybody from that group, which is awesome. He had really great stuff for cheap and he didn't cost too much for shipping either. Plus I have two other things that I purchased off of eBay that I'm going to be sharing as well in this video. So up first, the lot that I purchased... We have first a Oliver Kylington Young Guns, which I do personally collect him, so that one there is awesome. This one is just an insert that he threw in for Sebastian Aho, but I do PC him, so that one's nice. We have a Young Guns for Wayne Simmons, which was cheap, and I absolutely love Wayne Simmons, so whenever I seen that he had a Young Guns card for him, I decided to jump on the opportunity. We have an Evander Kane Young Guns. I don't have that many Kane cards, and I definitely don't have that many Thrasher cards. So for me, this is a win-win. I love the player. I love Evander Kane. He's awesome. So this is a great card for me. Put that on the stand in the back. Next, we have a Young Guns for Jean-Gabriel Pajot. I follow Pajot. You guys know that he's one of my favorite players in the league right now. I absolutely love him. He's on Islanders. He's been doing great. And I miss him on the Ottawa Senators, to be honest with you. Recently, I purchased a autographed Pajot puck. And I don't have anything nice to display it in. I wanted to purchase one of the display cases that have a hockey puck and a hockey card in it. But I didn't have his Young Guns card to put in it. Now I do. So I'm going to be putting this on display in that with the autograph puck in the same display case that's going to be looking awesome and i can't wait i'll update you guys when i purchase that and i also have a Derek forberts future watch autograph card numbered out of 999 which is awesome i collect future watch cards but only whenever they don't cost me an arm and a leg some i see really expensive Derek forbert is somebody that i follow i have i think a ton of his cards, his Young Guns, his Rookie Materials cards. So I seen this, that the seller had it. I decided to get it. Now the seller also had a ton of other cards. Some of them, in my opinion, were overpriced. Some of them I just had to personally pick out the best of the best. And that's what I did. So none of these cards cost me over $5. They were all almost on the cheap end. So it didn't cost too much for that. It didn't cost too much for shipping. The other things that I want to mention are things, are two cards that I got off of eBay. Up first, it's not really a card, but it is a mini jersey for Danny Heatley. Now, I wasn't collecting way back when these were released, and I really wish that Upper Deck were to do these again because they look really cool. This one here is unopened, and I'm probably going to leave it that way. However, it looks really cool, and this is the first one that I own, so I've definitely seen it. You guys know I collect Sens, so I wanted to get that. And another player that I personally collect is Jacob Vorchek. Now, this is his rookie jersey card that is numbered out of $2.99. Now, at the time that I purchased this on eBay, I only paid under a dollar for it, and I think it was a dollar fifty to ship. I won it on an auction. Nobody else bid on it, which is awesome because I absolutely wanted this card. I didn't realize it was numbered out of $2.99. I thought it was just his rookie jersey card. So that to me is awesome. The patch is huge and it's a player that I follow. So that is sick. That card looks amazing. And this is definitely going to be one that's up on display for me. But these are the cards I recently picked up and purchased. I've been kind of slowing down on finding cards, purchasing cards. But I am still uploading videos because I have so many videos that I pre-recorded at the time. I think I have over 30 videos and now I'm at the point of recording and uploading one video a week at least. So I'm keeping on track of it. But right now I'm slowing down on purchasing hockey cards unless I find a great deal like I did for these ones. This here was only $2. This one here was $1.50 for shipping and I think I paid $0.75 cents for the card itself. And everything else, all the other cards were under $5, which was awesome because they're definitely players that I collect and PC and definitely ones that I want to include in my collection. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. I'll keep you guys posted if I get anything else and I'll keep you guys posted 
When I get the display case for the Pajot Young Guns and his autograph puck, I'll be tossing those in there and I'll share those with you in a future video. See you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.